Alright folks, and for this video, we'll be learning a fingerstyle rendition of a classic hymn called Be Thou My Vision. Alright, so it's going to be a four-part video, and I'm just going to go through it one line at a time. So try and make sure that you are able to play each line smoothly before moving on to the next video. Alright, the song is in 3-4, okay, and it's played in the key of G major. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play the first line for you and then I'm going to break it down and guide you along on um, the timing, the chord use and also which fingers you should be using. Alright, so here goes. The first line. A one, two, go. So that's what we have and let's look at the very first uh, stack of chords we have for the first bar. All right. Now folks, what we have right there, it's basically a G chord and it's going to be a one fingered G chord. So the middle finger is going to be on the third fret of your sixth string and you're going to plug that together with the open string, the third open string and the fourth open string like this. Right. So that's the sound that we are looking for. On the second count, you are going to maintain the middle finger. Just make sure that the bass note is still ringing. Then plug the open third string again. Then you're going to throw in the index finger on the second fret of your third string, followed by the open string again. Okay? So it's going to sound like this, and the timing is going to be. One, two, three, and again. One, two, three, and once more. One, two, three, and all right. So that's how the first bar sounds like, and remember, it's based off a G chord, except that you're kind of using only. The middle finger right now for the second bar you'll find that we have kind of like a C chord form that three and two right here so those are little segments from the full C chord right so for this bar all we need it's going to be a ring finger on the third fret of your fifth string the middle finger right here on the second fret of your fourth string that's all we need just these two Right? So I'm just going to focus my right hand on strings um, 5 and 4 and this is how it sounds like just for the second bar. Plug 3 and 2, remove the middle finger, plug the 4th string to get an open string sound, then add in your middle finger on the 2nd fret of your 4th string. Okay, So this is the sound that we are looking for. So the timing goes one, two, three. Again, one, two, three. All right. So the second bar is quite straightforward, quite simple. Now, um, once you're able to play the second bar, you want to try and link up the first and the second bar and make sure that there are no pauses between your chord changes. Alright, so give it a good flow like this. That's what we have. Alright, so let's try that together once more on the count of three. One, two, go. Next up is, if you look at the third bar, it's going to be based on an E minor chord, right? So when I see 0, 2, 2, 0, that reminds me of my E minor chord. So this is how you're going to play the third bar. 
So what I'm doing on my right hand is I'm kind of shifting all the way up. So my thumb will be playing the sixth string, my index will be playing the fifth, the middle finger on the fourth string, and then the ring finger on the third string. So I'm just going to chunk these four strings um, together. Then the ring finger plucks the open third string. Then check this out. For the note on the second fret, I'm going to use my middle finger. And then resolving back to your G chord. Same shape as the first chord that we've played. Except this time, the bass note is on a 6th string and you have to place index on 4, middle on the 3rd string and then your ring finger on the 2nd string. So, that's that sound we're looking for. Alright? So, this is how the entire line sounds. Try and play along with me, slow and steady and maintain the flow. So here goes. A 1, 2, go. So folks, do take note, try and make sure that you get a good flow across the notes, your timing is stable and your notes are clear. Alright, so this is part 1 of Be Down My Vision. Watch out for part 2, 3 and 4. Alright, thank you folks and bye.